The Royal Canadian Air Force RCAF, French, Aviation Royale Canadienne, ARC is the Air Force of Canada. Its role is to provide the Canadian forces with relevant, responsive and effective airpower. The RCAF is one of three environmental commands within the Unified Canadian Armed Forces. As of 2013, the Royal Canadian Air Force consists of 14,500 regular force and 2,600 primary reserve personnel, supported by 2,500 civilians, and operates 258 manned aircraft and nine unmanned aerial vehicles. Lieutenant General Al Meinzinger is the current commander of the Royal Canadian Air Force and Chief of the Air Force Staff. The Royal Canadian Air Force is responsible for all aircraft operations of the Canadian Forces, enforcing the security of Canada's airspace and providing aircraft to support the missions of the Royal Canadian Navy and the Canadian Army. The RCAF is a partner with the United States Air Force in protecting continental airspace under the North American Aerospace Defense Command NORAD. The RCAF also provides all primary air resources to and is responsible for the National Search and Rescue Program. The RCAF traces its history to the Canadian Air Force, which was formed in 1920. The Canadian Air Force was granted royal sanction in 1924 by King George V to form the Royal Canadian Air Force. In 1968, the RCAF was amalgamated with the Royal Canadian Navy and the Canadian Army, as part of the unification of the Canadian Forces. Air units were split between several different commands, Air Defence Command Interceptors, Air Transport Command Airlift, Search and Rescue, Mobile Command Tactical Fighters, Helicopters, Maritime Command Anti-Submarine Warfare, Maritime Patrol, as well as Training Command. In 1975, some commands were dissolved ADC, ATC, TC, and all air units were placed under a new environmental command called simply Air Command Aircom. Air Command reverted to its historic name of Royal Canadian Air Force in August 2011. The Royal Canadian Air Force has served in the Second World War, the Korean War, the Persian Gulf War, as well as several United Nations peacekeeping missions and NATO operations. As a NATO member, the force maintained a presence in Europe during the second half of the 20th century. Topic. History Topic: 1920 to 1945 pre-unification. The Canadian Air Force (CAF) was established in 1920 as the successor to a short-lived two-squadron Canadian Air Force that was formed during the First World War in Europe. John Scott Williams, M.C., AFC, was tasked in 1921 with organizing the CAF, handing command over later the same year to Air Marshal Lindsay Gordon. The new Canadian Air Force was a branch of the Air Board and was chiefly a training militia that provided refresher training to veteran pilots. Many CAF members also worked with the Air Board's Civil Operations Branch on operations that included forestry, surveying and anti-smuggling patrols. In 1923, the CAF became responsible for all flying operations in Canada, including civil aviation. In 1924, the Canadian Air Force, was granted the royal title, becoming the Royal Canadian Air Force RCAF. Most of its work was civil in nature, however, in the late 1920s the RCAF evolved into more of a military organization. After budget cuts in the early 1930s, the Air Force began to rebuild. Topic. World War II During the Second World War, the RCAF was a major contributor to the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan and was involved in operations in Great Britain, Europe, the North Atlantic, North Africa, Southern Asia, and with home defence. By the end of the war, the RCAF had become the fourth largest Allied Air Force. 
During World War II the Royal Canadian Air Force was headquartered in 20-23 Lincoln's Inn Fields, London. A commemorative plaque can be found on the outside of the building. Topic. 1945–1968 After the war, the RCAF reduced its strength. Because of the rising Soviet threat to the security of Europe, Canada joined NATO in 1949, and the RCAF established No. 1 Air Division RCAF consisting of four wings with three fighter squadrons each, based in France and West Germany. In 1950, the RCAF became involved with the transport of troops and supplies to the Korean War, however, it did not provide RCAF combat units. Members of the RCAF served in USAF units as exchange officers and several flew in combat. Both auxiliary and regular air defense squadrons were run by Air Defense Command. At the same time, the Pinetree Line, the Mid-Canada Line and the Dew Line radar stations, largely operated by the RCAF, were built across Canada because of the growing Soviet nuclear threat. In 1957, Canada and the United States created the Joint North American Air Defense Command NORAD. Coastal defense and peacekeeping also became priorities during the 1950s and 1960s. Topic. 1968 present, unification In 1968, the Royal Canadian Navy, Royal Canadian Air Force, and Canadian Army were amalgamated to form the Unified Canadian Forces. This initiative was overseen by then Liberal Defence Minister, Paul Hellyer. The controversial merger maintained several existing organizations and created some new ones. In Europe, No. 1 Air Division, operated Canadair CF-104 Starfighter Nuclear Strike, Attack and Reconnaissance under NATO's 4 AUTOF, Air Defense Command, operated McDonnell CF-101 Voodoo Interceptors, CIM-10 Bomark missiles and the SAGE radar system within NORAD, Air Transport Command, provided strategic airlift for the NATO and UN peacekeeping missiles missions, and training command. Aviation assets of the Royal Canadian Navy were combined with the RCAF Canadair CP-107 Argus long-range patrol aircraft under Maritime Command. In 1975, the different commands, and the scattered aviation assets, were consolidated under Air Command Aircom. On 9 November 1984, Canada Post issued Air Force as part of the Canadian Forces series. The stamps were designed by Ralph Tibbles, based on an illustration by William Southern. The 32 stamps are perforated 12 by 12.5 and were printed by Ashton Potter Limited. In the early 1990s, Canada provided a detachment of CF-18 Hornets for the air defence mission in Operation Desert Shield. The force performed combat air patrols over operations in Kuwait and Iraq, undertook a number of air-to-ground bombing missions, and, on one occasion, attacked an Iraqi patrol boat in the Persian Gulf. In the late 1990s, Air Command CF-18 Hornets took part in the Operation Allied Force in Yugoslavia, and in the 2000s, Aircom was heavily involved in the Afghanistan War, transporting troops and assets to Kandahar. Later in the decade-long war, AIRCOM set up a purpose-specific air wing, Joint Task Force Afghanistan Air Wing, equipped with several CH-146 Griffin and CH-147 Chinook helicopters, CC-130 Hercules, CU-161 Spurwer and least CU-170 Heron UAVs in support of the Canadian Forces and ISAF mission. The wing stood down on 18 August 2011. From 18 March to 1 November 2011, the RCAF was engaged in Operation Mobile, Canada's contribution to Operation Unified Protector in Libya. Seven CF-18 Hornet fighter aircraft and several other aircraft served under Task Force Lebechio as part of the military intervention. 
On 16 August 2011, the Government of Canada announced that the name, Air Command, was being changed to the Air Force's original historic name, Royal Canadian Air Force, along with the change of name of Maritime Command to Royal Canadian Navy and Land Force Command to Canadian Army. The change was made to better reflect Canada's military heritage and align Canada with other key Commonwealth countries whose military units use the Royal designation. The RCAF adopted a new badge in 2013, which is similar to the pre-unification RCAF badge although placed in the modern frame used for command badges. The Latin motto of Air Command, SIC ITUR ad Astra, which was the motto of the Canadian Air Force when first formed after the First World War before it became the Royal Canadian Air Force in 1924, was retained. Though traditional insignia for the RCAF was restored in 2015, there has been no restoration of the traditional uniforms or rank structure of the historical service apart from a rank of aviator, which replaced that of private. In 2015, on 17 April 2014, Prime Minister Stephen Harper announced that Canada was dispatching six CF-18s and military personnel to assist NATO in operations in Eastern Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft The Royal Canadian Air Force has about 391 aircraft in service, making it the sixth largest air force in the Americas, after the United States Air Force, United States Navy, United States Army, United States Marine Corps, and Brazilian Air Force. Topic. Fixed wing Airbus CC-150 Polaris Second-hand Airbus A310 transports purchased in 1992 for use as strategic transports and air-to-air -air tankers to replace the Boeing CC-137. Two have been converted to tankers and are designated the CC-150T. One is permanently configured for VIP transport. Five aircraft are operated by 437 Squadron based at 8 Wing Trenton, Ontario, Bay CT-155 Hawk. Single engine lead in fighter trainer leased in 2000, 16 aircraft in service, based at 15 Wing Moose Jaw, SK and 4 Wing Cold Lake, Alberta, Beechcraft King Air C-90B. Multi-engine training aircraft. Leased to RCAF by Allied Wings, seven aircraft are based at Portage La Prairie, MB. Boeing CC-177 Globemaster III. Five strategic airlifters operated by 429 T Squadron based at 8 Wing Trenton, Ontario. Four were delivered from 2007 to 2008, a fifth was delivered in 2015, Bombardier CC-144 Challenger. Utility and VIP transport aircraft first delivered in 1982. Early Challenger 600 and 601 models were supplemented by 604 models in 2002. Four aircraft are operated by 412T Squadron and based in Ottawa, but belong to 8 Wing Trenton, Canadair CT-114 Tudor. Entered service in 1962 as a basic and advanced jet trainer with 190 originally ordered, replaced by the CT-156 Harvard II and CT-155 Hawk in 2000. A total of 27 aircraft remain in service, 24 of which are used by 431 Air Demonstration Squadron, the Snowbirds, DHCCC-115 Buffalo. A twin-engined utility, cargo transport now used for search and rescue. Six are operated by 442 Transport and Rescue Squadron at 19 Wing Comox, BC, DHCCC 138 Twin Otter. A twin engined utility transport operated since the 1970s, four remain based at Yellowknife, NT, operated by 440 Transport Squadron, DHCCT 142 8. 
twin-engined converted regional airliner entered service in 1987 as an aerial navigation and tactics trainer, four are operated by 402 City of Winnipeg Squadron and stationed at 17 Wing, Winnipeg, MBG Rob 120A. Single engine primary trainer used to train pilot candidates before they move on to the Harbor II, leased to RCAF by Allied Wings. 14 aircraft are based at Portage La Prairie, MB. Lockheed CC 130H Hercules. Four engine tactical transport. Several versions have been operated since 1960. Remaining CC-130Hs used for search and rescue and air-to-air -air refueling. Eight aircraft remain in service, five of which have been converted to air-to-air -air tankers. Based at 14-wing Greenwood, NS, 8-wing Trenton, ON and 17-wing, Winnipeg, MB, Lockheed CP-140 Aurora. Four-engine maritime patrol aircraft based on the American Lockheed P-3 Orion, entered service in 1980, 18 aircraft now based at 19-wing Comox, BC and 14-wing Greenwood, NS, Lockheed Martin the 200th 130J Super Hercules Four-engine tactical airlift are replacing earlier Hercules variants in that role. A total of 17 are in service operated by 436T Squadron based at 8 Wing Trenton, McDonnell Douglas CF-18 Hornet. Fighter entered service in 1982 when 98 single-seat CF-18As and 42-seat CF-18Bs were ordered. 17 have been lost since 1984. Stationed at 3-wing Bagotville, Quebec and 4-wing Cold Lake, Alberta, 60 CF-18As and 25 CF-18Bs remain in active service, Raytheon CT-156 Harvard II. Single-engine trainer leased from 2000 to replace the Canadair CT-114 Tudor. 24 aircraft based at 15-wing Moose Jaw, SK. Topic. Rotary wing Bell CH-139 Jetranger Single-engined utility and training helicopter. Ordered for three Canadian Forces Flying Training School at CFB Portage La Prairie, MB, used by regular forces in CFB LAR in Germany and in Canada during the 1980s, replaced by CH-146 Griffins, 12 aircraft remain, leased from Allied Wings, used for flight training in Portage La Prairie, MB, Bell CH-146 Griffin. A utility transport tactical helicopter UTTH, that entered service between 1995 and 1997. Original purchase of 100 aircraft to replace the CH-136 Kiowa Bell 206, CH-135 Twin Huey Bell 212, CH-118 Iroquois Bell 205, and Boeing C model Chinooks CH-47C. Based at Bagotville, Quebec, 439 Squadron, St. Hubert, Quebec, 438 Squadron, Cold Lake, Alberta, 417 Squadron, Gagetown, New Brunswick, 403 Squadron, Valcadier, Quebec, 430 Squadron, Goose Bay, Newfoundland, 444 Squadron, Edmonton, Alberta, 408 Squadron, and Borden, Ontario, 400 Squadron, also perform search and rescue duties at 8 Wing Trenton 424 Squadron deployed to Afghanistan to provide escorts for the Chinooks armed with a combination of 7.62 mm C6 machine gun 7.62 mm Dillon Arrow M134D Gatling gun and GAU 21.50 caliber machine gun on one or both doors 9X RCAF Griffins, designated CT-146, are leased from Allied Wings for pilot training at Portage La Prairie, MB, Augusta Westland CH-149 Cormorant. Triple engine search and rescue helicopter that replaced the CH-113 Labrador. 14 delivered between 2000 and 2002. 
based at 103 Squadron, 9 Wing Gander, Newfoundland, 413 Squadron, 14 Wing Greenwood, Nova Scotia, and 442 Squadron, 19 Wing Comox, British Columbia. One aircraft has been lost in a training accident, Sikorsky CH-148 Cyclone. Ship-based transport, anti-submarine helicopter based on the Sikorsky H-92 Superhawk. 28 ordered to replace the Sea King from 2009. Delays pushed the delivery date to 2015 when six were delivered. Three aircraft in service as of 2017, Boeing CH-147F Chinook. The CH-147F Chinook is an advanced, multi-mission, medium-to-heavy-lift helicopter. Its primary mission is the tactical transport of equipment and personnel during domestic or deployed operations. 450 Tactical Helicopter Squadron, under the command of One Wing Kingston, ONT, and based in CFB Petawawa, ONT, was re-established as the home of Canada's fleet of 15 CH-147F Chinooks. The first two airframes underwent intensive operational test and evaluation in the United States for several months before Canada received the first airframe 147303 at an official acceptance ceremony at the Ottawa International Airport on 27 June 2013. Fifteen aircraft are in service as of 2017. Topic. Leased and contractor aircraft The Canadian forces have leased aircraft from vendors to help transport troops and equipment from Canada and other locations in the past decade. Transport aircraft have been leased as required. Beechcraft B-300 Super King Air 2 aircraft leased from Transwest Air Limited. Used by the Multi-Engine Utility Flight MEUF, in CFB Trenton. Flown by RCAF pilots, they are used for light transport of personnel and equipment within North America. Dornier Alpha Jet Type A-12 civil aircraft are operated by Discovery Air Defense Services for CATS contracted airborne training services and are based at CFB Cold Lake and CFB Bagotville Hawker Hunter F.5812 civil aircraft are operated by Lordi Aviation, formerly Northern Lights International Airlines Limited. Based in CFB Cold Lake, ex-Swiss Air Force Jets. Topic. Weapons and other equipment Weapons systems are used by the CF-18 Hornet, CP-140 Aurora, CH-146 Griffin and the CH-124 Sea King helicopters the latter to be replaced by CH-148 Cyclone. Topic. Retired weapons Topic. Current structure The commander of the Royal Canadian Air Force, located at National Defence Headquarters in Ottawa, commands and provides strategic direction to the Air Force. The commander of one Canadian Air Division and Canadian NORAD region, based in Winnipeg, is responsible for the operational command and control of Air Force activities throughout Canada and worldwide. The RCAF's other Air Division, 2 Canadian Air Division, was established in June 2009, and consists of training establishments. There are 13 wings across Canada, 11 operational and 2 used for training. Wings represent the grouping of various squadrons, both operational and support, under a single tactical commander reporting to the operational commander. Ten wings also include a Canadian Forces base along with other operational and support units. The rank of general is held when an air officer is serving as chief of the defence staff. The commander of the Royal Canadian Air Force holds the rank of lieutenant general. Divisions are commanded by major generals. Brigadier generals are typically second in command of a division. Wings are commanded by colonels. 
Squadrons are commanded by lieutenant colonels. Majors are typically second in command of squadrons, or flight commanders. Captains, lieutenants and second lieutenants are the junior level leaders in RCAF squadrons and headquarters. Topic. One Canadian Air Division The One Canadian Air Division serves as the operational command and control of Air Force activities and is commanded by Major General J.P.A. Pelletier. The commander of One Canadian Air Division also serves as the commander of the Canadian NORAD region, and is the Joint Force Air Component Commander for the Canadian Joint Operations Command. Topic. Two Canadian Air Division Two Canadian Air Division two Canadian dollars is primarily responsible for training and education throughout the RCAF. It is currently commanded by Brigadier General Mario LeBlanc. From 2011 to 2013 the commanding officer was Brigadier General Martin Galvin. The initial announcement of the division, published after it was created on June 25, 2009, said Brigadier General Rick Petra assumed command of the Canadian Forces' most recent formation, the newly established 2 Canadian Air Division, Air Force Doctrine and Training Division in a formal ceremony at 17 Wing, Winnipeg on Thursday, June 25. The Air Force has embarked on what Brig. General Petra calls a new and exciting chapter in our rich Air Force history. Commander 2 Canadian Air Division is now responsible for all Air Force doctrine, individual training and education. In addition to the Canadian Aerospace Warfare Center located at 8 Wing Trenton, Brigadier General Petra will oversee the conduct and management of training establishments at 15 Wing Moose Jaw, 16 Wing Borden, and a new Air Force Training Center comprising several Air Force schools and training institutions. In addition, he will have oversight of training conducted by the Prairie Cadet Region. Topic. Other units Topic. Former units 2 Wing Toronto, based at CFB Toronto, the wing was in closed 1996, Denison Armoury remains in use as the headquarters for the Canadian Army's 4th Canadian Division. 7 Wing Ottawa, based at CFB Ottawa, the wing was in closed 1995, the facilities are presently used by the Canadian Armed Forces as Canadian Forces Support Unit Ottawa. 18 Wing Edmonton, based at CFB Edmonton, the wing included 408 Tactical Helicopter Squadron, 418 City of Edmonton. Squadron, 435 Transport Squadron, 440 Transport and Rescue Squadron, and 447 Transport Squadron before it was closed in 1994. The facilities were transferred to Land Force Command, later the Canadian Army, although 408 Tactical Helicopter Squadron remains based at CFB Edmonton, formerly part of One Wing Kingston. Topic. Joint Task Force Afghanistan Air Wing Air Wing Kandahar, Afghanistan, stood up 6 December 2008, flew first mission 6 January 2009. The organization was composed of four units Canadian Helicopter Force Afghanistan 6. CH-147D Chinook Heavy Lift Helicopters 8. CH-146 Griffin Tactical Support Helicopters, armed 6. Mil Mi-8 Medium Lift Helicopters, see below 4. Mil Mi-17V-5 Medium Lift Helicopters designated as CH-178 Theater Support Element CC-130 Hercules Tactical Transport Aircraft Canadian Heron UAV Detachment Heron Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Canadian TUAV Squadron 
CU-161 Spur were unmanned aerial vehicle as the tasking authority responsible for the Canadian Contracted Air Transport Unit. The wing commander provided advice, coordination and supervision over its six leased Mi-8 medium-lift helicopters. The air wing had about 450 personnel, serving with the theater support element in the Persian Gulf region and the tactical UAV flight at Kandahar Airfield. The wing officially stood down on 18 August 2011. <laughs> Rank structure Topic. Commander in Chief Topic. Officers Topic. Non commissioned members On 1 April 2015, the rank structure and insignia changed. The rank of private was replaced with that of aviator. The previously used term, leading aircraftman, was considered not to be gender neutral. Insignia were also changed from golden yellow to a pearl gray color similar to that worn before unification of Canada's armed forces in 1968. A revival of the former rank titles of the RCAF did not occur, however, as the former rank titles were considered too confusing. Instead, the current rank titles were retained with the exception of Aviator. The Royal Flying Corps, considered to be a predecessor of the RCAF, used rank titles similar to the existing rank titles of the RCAF. Topic. Symbols Topic. Badge The badge of the Royal Canadian Air Force consists of St. Edward's Crown An eagle superimposed on a circlet A compartment of maple leaves Motto, Sic Itur Ad Astra Latin for, Such as the pathway to the stars Topic. Roundels Roundels used from 1920 until 1945 were usually the same as Royal Air Force roundels although not all variations were used and colors were matched to locally available paints. Topic. See also Planned Canadian Forces Projects Royal Canadian Air Force VIP Aircraft Notes <laughs>